Hey guys, as you can see, today's a very exciting day. I picked up a 2003 Tahoe about two days ago and got it for a decent deal. Um, body's like pretty good shape. Interior is really clean as you can see. Um, it's replacing my daily driver, which is a 350Z. So now I'm going to be dailying this Tahoe. That way I can move car parts, tow my car to the track. Um, it's re more reliable in the winter and in the snow. Better for New England roads, just a long list of stuff. So this video is going to be me going over things I like, things I like dislike about the Tahoe. But uh, right now, we're going to go pick up Ian and see what he thinks of it. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the selector light for what gear I'm in is uh, very, very dim. I think it has a few bulbs out. So during the day, I can't really figure out what gear I'm in. Park, neutral, reverse, drive. But yeah, we'll fix that. Uh, one thing I know I'm going to have to do is basically replace the cluster because most of the cluster lights don't work and it's pretty frustrating. Let's go head to the highway and head over to Ian's house. Alright guys, so we're pulling up in front of Ian's house. I'm going to uh, give him a call and have him come out to the Tahoe. I'm out front, bro. Uh, the new bumper is in my garage. Brand new. Brand spanking new. How much did you get a bumper for? 140 bucks. Yeah. But for the most part, dude, it's like mint. Oh my god. I'm excited. Tow rig shit. Yep. So we're, yeah, we're gonna go for a ride. This thing's fucking awesome. I'm so excited how ridiculous clean, ridiculously clean this thing is. <sighs> it needs an exhaust, it's too quiet. You gotta hear that five liters. The five liters of America. So first thing we're gonna do is, I need coffee. No, first generation, 99 through 2007 was cat eyes for the Silverado. 2000, what? 2000, uh, 99 was the year cat eyes started. Really? Yeah. Then why is this one a 2003 and not a cat eye? Uh, probably, they never had a cat eye bourbon. This is a Tahoe. Or Tahoe. That's yeah. why then. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's got some rattle here. I didn't even notice that until today. I bet it's because I put the GoPro on the dashboard and now oh. it's off. What on earth? What was that? That was like Spanish music blasting from the Honda City. But it sounded like a, opera. Like one note from a cat. Oh, what what one are you looking for? Are you looking for a suburban? I'm Atomo? looking to buy our teammate Matt's father's 08 suburban. I don't think I'll find a better deal than three grand. Also, um, hi Matt if you're watching this. Matt's dad seems to be the complete opposite of Matt. Matt will like flip a car and do absolutely no work to it and like he'll vacuum it out and wash it. Uh, Matt's dad is the, the type who puts like new batteries, new wipers, like completely goes over a vehicle. And he wasn't intending to ever sell this one. It's more of Matt convincing him to sell it. So I think the vehicle will be in as good of condition. It says do not block. Oh, this person's an asshole. Yeah, he's just gonna block there because he can. It says do well, not block. The great thing about a truck is you can drive over people or just push True. them out of the way. True. Yeah, no, I think Matt says truck is gonna be the best, um, the best fit here. But doesn't that need a transmission? No. That his truck needs a transmission. Oh. That's his... Matt's personal. No, work truck I thought the o o eight or whatever. No, that was his oh. his truck. That he's like nobody's coming to look at it. This is pretty clean, dude. I don't know if you get any cleaner than this for the price. Seventeen hundred no. bucks. It's not bad. Yeah. We're okay. doing sixty in the drive through now. Sixty-five. Oh. You know, I like to go fast. It's customer service. Yeah. Hi, can I get a medium iced with two creams? Medium iced, how's it made? 
Just two creams? Anything else? That's it. Thank you. At first, I thought he was like, I'll be with you. And then he, like, the second time. Yeah, it's a completely like, different guy came through. It's like, what? Who talked? Whatever. Well, I need my caffeine. We'll get you an energy drink at some place. There's literally OS handles everywhere in this thing, like in the back seat and everything. And it's funny because in the trucks, they run the AC down the floor. And in this, they run it through the head, the like the headliner, and it goes all the way back to the third row. There's the third row on this. Yeah. Does it fold flat? Uh, they took it out. Okay. So it, nice. it doesn't. They took it out, and then it's they stole it. So oh, okay. it has third row seating without the seats, That's but it funny. has the clipping tie downs and everything like that. Is it working? It's Friday. You were you at with versatile professional? Versatile. A versatile and professional. Well, we're gonna call him, and we're gonna get him on the phone at some point. Right now, we're going to Pet Boys. Oh, we'll keep calling, I guess. Oh yeah. Do you want to be in jail or dying? Um, no. Steve and I have you on video camera right now. We're just asking a quick question for you two. Very important. Go on. Uh, Steve and I are trying to settle a dispute. Does the 08 Suburban have transmission problems? I mean... <laughs> I told you! I mean, every Chevy has transmission problems. But did you specifically say that one has transmission issues? Oh, yours? The one I want to sell you? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. No, it doesn't. Yeah, he said... He said <laughs> your dad's 2008 had transmission issues and you wouldn't sell it to a friend. And I said that's your no, work my truck. truck. My truck has transmission issues and I wouldn't sell it to a friend. So, he's going to get a 2008 for $3,000. Yeah. I doubt that. Yeah. It's two-wheel drive. Oh. Nice What's the motor? 5.3. Five, 5.3 three. Five is good. I like 5.3. Yeah, because that's what we're sitting in right now. It's either 5.3 or 5.7. Yeah, we're in yeah, my Tahoe. I, a, I think it's a 5.3, but yeah, it's two-wheel drive. That's why no one, that's why, that's why it's so cheap. Let's go get it tonight, then. I don't have a fucking place to store it. It's bigger than my driveway my, combined. I have a driveway attached to my house. All right, let me get three grand out of the bank at some point. Slowly. Right. We're going to go you. there tonight. We'll pick it up. Matt, we solved the issue. Thank you very much. That? Steve's wrong. Thank you very much, Matt, from Versatile no. <laughs> Flooring. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. Bye, Matt. Bye. All right, fine, whatever. Let's go get some parts. <laughs> This one's the $15 one that I wanted. Yeah. My craftsman one was 500 so that's nothing. My god. Good thing I took my dad's. Mine's also way bigger than this. So guys, we got what we needed to tap our valve covers for an AN breather system. Uh, I think this should be kind of fun. Woo! Assad, I figured out how to make us a custom prime drift Snapchat filter. How? For free. For free. We can't reveal it on this video. We're gonna make our own custom Snapchat filter for free. I'm excited. Let's stop off at um, that mobile on the way to my house. Alright. Eat some energy. energy. Like I have energy, but I, like my eyes are falling asleep. So far I've been driving it for like a few days. And the only thing that I've noticed that's mechanically wrong is the ABS sensor. It will have an issue every now and then and then go away. So when I'm braking really hard, it's almost like one of the ABS sensors are turning on and it's going, it's like vibrating a little bit. Like it did at the light a few times, mm. but now it's gone. Now there's no light on and nothing's happening. Like I can run over a curb if I want to. Yeah, no, this thing is like a steel or Just curb. jump the curb. I was gonna try and talk you into it if it was gonna be an issue there. Well, we can flex on a snow make or something. <laughs> Drive the front of the truck just into it. See, that's perfect. I'm really happy that um, 
that's that truck. I'm trying to be like, oh, it's not two wheel drive, but I'm actually really happy it's two wheel drive. I never even put this in four wheel drive yet. It tows the same amount, gets better gas economy, less things to break. Like, you don't have transfer cases and shit. I rarely ever need to drive in the winter, so might as well get rear wheel drive. And besides, if I want to, I can do two wheel donuts in the parking lot in the winter. Hell yeah! Drift it! I don't like it. Gross chromey. Chromies for the homies. Chromies for the homies. And I love that this is an American vehicle because we have 4,000 cup holders everywhere. One, two, that, this three. is basically a cooler. Is this a three? Yeah, three. Okay, no. Almost three. Then there's four, five, <laughs> six, seven right here yep. for the kids. And then there's eight and nine in the back for the third row seating. Right now we have our mood lighting on. Right now we're going back to Ian's house. Uh, I'm gonna go over the Tahoe's interior. Hopefully it won't be too dark. It's getting pretty dark, so we'll see. But yeah, and then I'll go over the likes and dislikes, and that will be our little update on the new tow rig for us, well, for me, for the E30. And then we'll do another video when Ian gets his, and it's gonna be awesome. I cool. hope the transmission falls right out of this, so I can be like I told you, dude. But what it, what comes in this one? Um, a 4L60. Yeah, I'm gonna have <laughs> easy, <a> easy. <laughs> I know the 4L60E gets some hate, but right now I'm loving life. Oh, fuck my lawn. <laughs> That's what having a truck's all about, dude. Can I park it like in your in your yard? No. Can I draw flex on your porch? God no. I have soft lawn. Just for YouTube. No. Just a little soft bit. Back lawn. tire. No, dude. This is this is like loam. I'm gonna All right, have to... fine, fine. I'll back up. I'll try not, to spin, God, try not to spin my wheel in your yard. All this torque from the 5.3 though, dude. All <laughs> 290 foot pounds of torque. Hey, it's got more. <laughs> this guy, your neighbor's like, what on earth? Oh yeah, I kind of did the wheel. You Your neighbor knob. just watched me do that too. All right, so we're back at Ian's place. Yep. I'm gonna show you guys the interior, and yeah. Oh my God! Two yeah. things. All right. right, two things for YouTube. Okay. A, the um the suburban, the 08 suburban that I want, does not have a 5.3, and it does not have a 4L60E. It has a 6O and a 4L80E. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You don't have it yet, so. It's I not will. his yet. I will. I, I will. I can't I'm wait to go that find three grand somewhere. You Let's should. So, right now, I feel like a weather reporter. Alright, so we're outside Ian's place. His car cover just blew off of his, uh, his, his, his car. It's way too dark, barely see him. Alright, let's head over to the top. Alright, guys. So, it's super windy out there. Uh, audio is going to not be that great. Um, it's getting dark also, so it's hard to see the interior, but I'm gonna go through it real quick with you guys just to show you all the cool features and stuff and how clean it is. All right, so as I mentioned before, the dash cluster does not work. It just, some parts do, but most of it is out. The only thing that works is the temp, the gas, and the RPMs. Everything else doesn't work. Some of their bulbs are out, so it's kind of useless. A new one on eBay is, well, a new one. A used one that works with a warranty 65 bucks. So it's not that bad. For the radio. The radio is mint. I love the radio. The Bose system really bumps. But see, a lot of the little plastic buttons, like right here, it just wears off. Like, it's this is the on and off for the climate control. And it's just scratched off and you can't tell what it is. For 211,000 miles, the interior is amazing. It really does look brand new. Um, it's tough to tell in the dark, but there's really nothing wrong with the interior at all. And I'll show you in the back seat too. The only thing is the armrest right here has some frayed, well, it's torn up, but that's easy. It's so like one bolt, you can replace that. But yeah, this armrest, that's fine. All right, um, the steering, I like the steering a lot. It's kind of floaty, not terrible. Uh, compared to a car, it's it's just not very responsive. 
but it floats over the road and it's just comfy to drive. I never thought I'd like a truck. I'm not a truck guy at all, but I really love the 2003 Chevy Tahoe. All right, so now um, let's go to the back seat and I'll show you what that looks like. It is really dark back here. So, sorry in advance. So here's the DVD player. Uh, DVDs, I haven't used it yet, but it looks like it works. See the thing is floating around, doing its, having fun, having a good old time. Um, I open the door so that way it'll be somewhat lighting. Everyone passing me is being weirded out. But yeah, see the DVD player works. Uh, the controls for it are right down here. Um, it's got rear lighting is pretty decent. I want to change the lights to like a wider light. Not the warm kind of early 2000s, late 90s lights that are in it now. Um, when you fold down this... Two more cup holders, which are great. Um, it's an armrest too. Leather is an awesome shape. Highly recommend getting the leather if you can. It's kind of hard to pick at this point. I looked at five different ones, uh, five different Tahoes, and all of them were junk. Uh, I mean, I paid seventeen hundred bucks for this, and. I'm really surprised I found one this clean for it. Um, now I'm going to show you guys the uh, the boot or the trunk or whatever, the hatch. I'm going to go back there and show you guys. So yeah, there's a subwoofer back here. There's the jack and the tools to change your tire. And basically, in here, let me see if I can open that. Is where I think, yeah, in there is where you basically put a rod and you lower the spare tire from the bottom, which is kind of cool. You don't have a spare tire in the back that's taking up all your room. This adds third row seating, and obviously they took the actual seats out, but those are the latches for it. Bumper's pretty rusted, you probably can't see it, but I'll film another video of the install of the new bumper. But yeah, all the rust is on the bumper. Alright, so it's windy out, it's cold out, it's too dark to film anything of the body. I'm going to do another video of the outside condition of the Tahoe, and... In the same video, I'm going to be replacing the rear bumper with a brand new bumper. It cost me 140 bucks, shipped to my door, because the rear bumper is basically non-existent. It's so rusted that all it is is a little piece of chrome, basically, and then huge rod holes. But yeah, I'll film a different video of the outside and filming the bumper install video all in one. But yeah, that's the overview of my new, to me, Tahoe 2003. Um, I love this truck. This is an awesome truck. Highly recommend getting one. It's got the 5.3 liter. Plenty of power to tow your car to the track. Comfy. Uh, you can sleep in it also at the track. Please like, subscribe, comment below if there's anything you guys want me to film about the Tahoe. Or if there's... Hey, look, another Tahoe. There's another Tahoe if you can see it. Thanks again for watching.